Hello again. Um, this is another video where I'm just re reading and reviewing a character, and this time it is going to be on a certain character everyone says too slow. That is Hex. Hex's backstory is that um, a long time ago she was a, a very powerful sorceress, and that meant a lot of people wanted to capture her and steal her secrets, including Malifor, which is big dragon who is evil. And she thought, yeah, I could beat that thing. After what it says is, is an intense battle, she wins over the dragon, but she went into the land of the undead, meaning now she's joined the ranks of the undead. So, yeah, that's how she came to be a Skylander. But let's get into your moves and see why everybody thinks she's slow and unusable. Her first move is the Phantom Orbs. They're quite fast, and right now it's going to be your go-to move. Her second move at this point is conjure up skulls. She pretty much just makes some skulls rain down on enemies. This move is quite slow though right now, so don't use it. But now let's get on to your upgrades. Trust me, there are some really, really good ones. Her first upgrade allows her to unlock her third move, which is Ball of Bones. Again, not really a bad move, but it's just too slow. It can be comboed with your raining skulls though. Her second upgrade just allows her skull rain to should I have four. This is a bad upgrade because it just makes her skull rain take more time to actually activate. Her third upgrade is Bone Fortress. It just adds more bones to the wall of bones. It's okay. Her fourth upgrade allows her to shoot out two Phantom Orbs. This is a really good upgrade. It allows her to do more damage with an already amazing move. But let's get on to the upgrade paths. So there's two kind of upgrade paths. You can either go with one that focuses on your phantom orbs or one that focuses on your other moves. The phantom orbs are already great themselves, so I'm going to go for the sorceress path. The first upgrade in this path is compound fracture. It just makes the wall of bones do more damage, but I wasn't really using it for that anyway. So her second upgrade in this path is master caster, means it takes much less time to cast skull rain and wall of bones. This is amazing. The wall of bones takes like one millisecond to come up and the skull rain is just so fast. This is probably the best upgrade Hex is ever gonna get. The final upgrade in this path is troll skulls, which just allows your skull rain to do more damage. Now that we have master caster, this is actually a good upgrade. But on to the next path. The next upgrade is long distance orb, which is when you hold down your attack button, the orbs get more range. This sucks. Why? The orbs are fine. I use them as a spamming move, not a hold down move. This upgrade actually sucks. Already not in a good mood for the top path. But let's go on to your next upgrade. Her second upgrade is just an okay one. It just makes her phantom orb do more damage. It isn't good, but it isn't bad. So yeah, that's that. Her final upgrade is unstable phantom orbs. Phantom orbs explode damage nearby enemies. This is a good upgrade, but the problem with this path in general is that it doesn't add on to her moves that needed the added bonuses. That's the problem with this path. But, so, the bottom path is way better. Let's go on to the Soul Gem. Her Soul Gem is Skull Shield, which when Skull Rain is activated, knocks enemies away. This, it's okay. Honestly... Hex's top path is just an entire disappointment, while her bottom path is amazing. Hey, but then there's the question, is Hex good? Yeah, I guess. I really liked playing as Hex. And I feel like why people call her bad is because at the start she was a bore to get through. Honestly, you have to persevere through it. But after that, she is really fun. If I had to give her a score out of 10, it would probably be a 7 out of 10. Really good Skylander, pick her up.